Hello friends, welcome to my channel, The Invisible Maths Teacher. So today I'm going to give a very rough explanation of factors uh, from the chapter Repeated Multiplication of Class 7th. Yes children, so today we are going to study factors. Okay. Factors. It's easy. Okay. Okay. How to write the factors of the number 32? So see how we are going to do this one, number 32, okay. So I am writing the number here, 32 and this is how you have to do, to find the factors. 32 will go in whose table, so you know which are prime numbers, no, prime numbers are 2, 3, 4 is not a prime number, 5 is a prime, 7 is a prime, then comes 11, 13, prime numbers means the numbers who go in ones table and the number itself. In ones table and the number itself. So this 32 will go in twos table. 2 into how much is 3? 2 ones are 2. 2 ones are 2. 3. What is remainder? 2 ones are 2. 3. One remainder. That small one I am writing simply here. Okay. Okay. Then see can you see a small one okay now read this number as 12 1 in 2 into how much is 12 2 into 6 is 12 next again it will go in 2 still 2 into how much is 16 2 into 8 now 2 into how much is 8 2 fours are 8 then 2 twos are 4 then 2 ones are 2 this is how you have to factorize so see how i'm going to uh, write the answer here here the answer uh, is equal to see 2 into 2 into 2 into 2 into 2 that is 2 to the power 5 so how you will write the factors means factors are first of all 1 must be there for sure then 2 to the power 1 2 to the power 2 2 to the power 3 2 to the power 4 up to 2 to the power 5 this is the answer okay now let us take the next example 81 okay so 81 how to do 81 will go in three stable how to check if it is going in three stable 81 just try 8 plus 1 how much is 8 plus 1 8 plus 1 is equal to 9 9 will go in three stable therefore 81 also will go in three stable 3 2's are 6, 3, 2's are 6, 7, 8, 2 is the remainder. Now read this number as 21, 3 into how much is 21? 7. Now 27, let us see if 27 will go in 3's table, 2 plus 7 is equal to 9. Yes, 9 will go in 3's table, therefore 27 also will go in 3's table. You know 3 9's are 27, then you know 3 into 3 is 9. Next, 3 into 1 is 3. So, how do you write the answer? How many 3's are there? 1, 2, 3, 4. So, 3 to the power 4. So, how do you write the factors? First one, 1 only. Then 3 to the power 1, 3 to the power 2, 3 to the power 3, 3 to the power 4. This is the factors. Now, moving on to uh, third one. Find the factors of the number 72 okay so let us try 72 it will go in two's table two threes are six seven two threes are six seven so one is remainder here now read this as 12 2 into 6 is 12 36 will go in three's table three ones are three three twos are six okay this will go in three's table 3, 4 is actually any way you can do. 2, 2 is 4. 2, 1 is 2. So how do you write? How many 2's are there? 1, 2, 3. So write 2 to the power 3. Into how many 3's are there? 3 to the power 2. Understood? Then how we have to see the factors? So 1, 2 to the power 1. 2 to the power 2, 2 to the power 3. Next, 3 to the power 2 means 3 to the power 1, 3 to the power 2. 
yes or no 2 to the power 3 means 1 then 2 to the power 1 2 to the power 2 2 to the power 3 up to 2 to the power 3 you have to write now you have an extra 3 to the power 2 so that you have to write like this only 3 to the power 1 then 3 to the power 2 then what you have to do is you have to keep multiplying first this number and this number 1 into 3 to the power 1 2 to the power 1 into 3 to the power 1 then 2 to the power 2 into 3 to the power 1 2 to the power 3 into 3 to the power 1 next with 3 to the power 2 1 into 3 to the power 2 2 to the power 1 into 3 to the power 2 2 to the power 2 into 3 to the power 2 2 to the power 3 into 3 to the power 2 so these are the factors okay okay next number is 200 so let us see how we can do this one <coughs> 200 it will go in two stable so it is 100 2 2 fives are 10 and a 0 again it will go in two stable 2 twos are 4 1 remainder is 1 2 into how much is 10 2 fives are 10 then 25 will go in 5 stable 5 fives are 25 then 5 ones are 5 you have to keep practicing this one children same like division only so how many twos are there there are three twos and how many fives are there there are two fives so how can we write 1 2 to the power 1 2 to the power 2 2 to the power 3 next one 5 to the power 1 and 5 to the power 2 so how can we write the factors so it's easy just see how uh, we are going to do this one <coughs> so 1 into 5 to the power 1 then 2 to the power 1 into 5 to the power 1 2 to the power 2 into 5 to the power 1 2 to the power 3 into 5 to the power 1 next 1 into 5 to the power 2 2 to the power 1 into 5 to the power 2 2 to the power 2 into 5 to the power 2 2 to the power 3 into 5 to the power 2 so these are the factors now moving on to next number that is 240 so let us see how to do this one 240 so 2 times 2 ones are 2 2 twos are 4 0 next 2 2 into how much is 12 2 6 are 12 and 0 then next 2 2 threes are 6 and 0 next 2 uh, 2 ones are 2 remainder is 1 15 next 15 will go in whose table 3 is table 3 fives are 15 then 5 ones are five. always 1 must be here okay you must reach up to uh, 1 so here how many twos are there 4 twos 3 1 and 5 also 1 so how can we write this one here 1 2 to the power 1 2 to the power 2 2 to the power 3 2 to the power 4 then 1 3 we have and 1 5 also we have so how can we do this one 1 into 3 into 5 comma 2 into 3 into 5 comma 2 to the power 2 into 3 into 5 comma 2 to the power 3 into 3 into 5 comma 2 to the power 4 into 3 into 5 these are the factors okay now taking the next example of 64 this one you have to try to do by yourself here the answer you will get as 2 to the power 6 then you have to find the all the factors okay this is the homework for you then moving on to next homework that is 125 so see here 125 will go in 5 stable 5 twos are 10 11 12 2 is the remainder that 2 i'm writing a small 2 25 5 into 5 is 25 again 
5 into 5 is 25 again 5 into 1 is 5 so always remember that whenever you have the number 125 then you will have 25 then you will have 5 so three fives will be there just keep in mind that so how you will write three fives so one one always there one comma five to the power one five to the power two five to the power three and if you write five to the power one or if you write five simply both are correct only okay now 48 48 even if you want simply i'll show you another method of doing this one 2 into how much is 48 2 into 24 is 48 2 into how much is 24 2 into 12 is 24 2 into how much is 12 2 into 6 then 6 means 2 into 3 now do you have anything to uh, simplify no we don't have so how many twos are there one two three four so i can write two to the power four into last number is three three times so what are the factors two to the one two two to the power two two to the power three two to the power four and simply three are the fact that now so how can you finally write the factors one into three two into three two square into three 2 to the power 3 into 3 and 2 to the power 4 into 3. So this is how you have to do another uh, method of doing. Now let us take another example 45. So 45 means how much I can take 5 into 9 is 45. Yes or no simple one. Then 9, 9 means 3 into 3. Now do you have to simplify? No don't simplify. So what is the answer? 5 into, okay first take 3. 3 how many times? 2 times and 5 how many times? 1 time. So how do you write? 1, 3 to the power 1, 3 to the power 2 and 5. So how do you write finally the factors? 1 into 5, 3 into 5, 3 square into 5. These are the factors okay now you can do this one 105 so 105 let us see in five stable five into how much five twos are ten and five ones are five okay you can do like this also five into how much five into 21 okay see five twos are ten five ones are five that means five into 21 is 105 so i wrote five into 21 is 105 now 21 i can break up how much 3 into 7 now can you break up 3 and 7 no we cannot so what is the answer 105 is equal to 5 into 3 into 7 this is the answer here as you know all our powers 1 you can't do anything more so 5 into 3 into 7 is the answer okay Yes, children. Now, next question. If 2 to the power x is 128, find 2 to the power x plus 1. So, let us see how to do uh, this one. So, 128. It will go in 2 stable. 2, 6 are 12. 2, 4 are 8. Next is 2. 2 into how much is 64? 2, 3 is 6. 2, 2 is 4. Next. 2 only. 2, 1 is 2. 3 one reminder 12 2 into how much is 12 6 times next 2 into 8 is 16 next 2 into 4 is 8 next 2 2 is 4 next 2 1 is 2 so how many 2's are there 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 so i can write instead of 128 I can write 2 to the power 7. Now here you can see the base are same. Therefore the powers are also same. So I can write x is equal to 7. As the base are same. Base same. Therefore powers are also same. Understood? So x is 7. Now they are asking you how much is 2 to the power x plus 1. 
so how much it is instead of x you have to write 7 7 7 plus 1 how much it is 2 to the power 8 this is the answer next one if 3 to the power x is equal to 7 29 we have to find 3 to the power x minus 1 okay same method only 7 29 let us see this number will go whether in 3 is table or not 7 plus 2 plus 9 is 9 plus 9 and plus 9 is 18 18 will go in 3 is table therefore 7 29 will go in 3 is table 3 into how much is 7 3 twos are 6 7 one reminder 3 into how much is 12 3 fours are 12 then 9 3 threes are 9 now again this number will go in 3 stable. 3 into how much is 24? 3 eights are 24. 3 ones are 3. 8 plus 1 is 9. Therefore 81 will go in 9 st 3 stable. 3 twos are 6. 7 8. 2 is the remainder. 3 into how much is 21? 3 sevens are 21. Again this one will go 3 nines are 27. 3 threes are 9. 3 ones are 3. So how many 3's are there? There are 6 3's. So I am writing 3 to the power x is equal to 3 to the power 6. So we know the base are same. Therefore the powers are also same. So I can write x is equal to 6. Then the question is to find 3 to the power x minus 1. So 3 to the power 6 minus 1 which is equal to 3 to the power 5. This is the answer. Yes, children. Now, next question. In 3 to the power x, 3 to the power x plus 1, 3 to the power x minus 1, 3 to the power x plus 1, which is even. So, in this one, which is even. For that, we have to just put x is equal to 1 and check. Only we have to check. So, 3 to the power 1. Okay, first one is 3 to the power x. So, how much is 3 to the power x? 3 to the power. Instead of x, you have to put 1. So, 3 to the power 1 is 3 only. This is odd. Next one. 3 to the power x plus 1. So, here instead of x, you have to put 1. 1 plus 1 is equal to 3 to the power 2. How much is 3 to the power 2? 3. That is 3 into 3. How much it is? 9. This is also odd. Next one, 3 to the power x minus 1. So, 3 to the power 1 minus 1. How much is 1 minus 1? 0. Anything to the power 0 is 1 only. Understood? Whatever be the number, if it is 100 to the power 0 is also 1. If it is 99 to the power 0 is also 1. Okay? Don't forget. Next one, 3 to the power x plus 1. So, let us try. 3 to the power x, 3 to the power 1 plus 1. How much is 3 to the power 1? 3 only. 3 plus 1 is equal to 4. So, who is even here? This one is even. The remaining all are odd. Okay. Another question. If 6 to the power 10 is computed, what digit is in 1's place? So, we know always 6 into 6 is equal to 36. Now, again, 36 into 6 is how much? 216. Now, again, 216 into 6. How much? So, always you can see in the 1's place, 6 is only coming. So, you can write the digit in 1's place is 6 always. Yes, children. Next question. 5 to the power 6 into 1 by 5 to the power x is equal to 1 by 5 to the power 10 find x. So here we know 1 into 5 to the power 6 is 5 to the power 6 divided by x is equal to 1 by 5 to the power 10. Very simple method is to just you cross multiply. Cross multiply. 5 like this multiply like this okay so 5 to the power 6 into 5 to the power 10 is equal to 1 into 5 to the power x next multiplication we already studied for multiplication powers are added and for division powers are subtracted here the base are same so write 5 1 times and you have to add the 
powers understood 6 plus 10 is equal to 1 into 5x is 5x only how much is 6 plus 10 16 is equal to 5 to the power x now here and here you can see the base are same therefore the powers are also same so i can write x is equal to 16 so we got the value okay so by this we completed the chapter thank you